All right, motherfucker, here we go. Challenge number eight. But before we do that, let's eat. Mm. This is so good. So what are you breaking the fast with? I have some really interesting food here. Okay, I have uh, some cheese, some cooked beans, avocados, mangoes, strawberries, brown rice, and strawberries. Or did I just already say strawberries? Two strawberries, look. <laughs> One and two. So what are you breaking the fast with? Show me. Post that photo for challenge number eight on the Facebook group. I wanna see what you broke the fast with just like I saw what you started the fast with. And yo, my inflammation went so down. Check this out. Right? Like completely flat, man. It's unbelievable. And that's what's gonna happen to you if it hasn't already happened. If you continue to fast, you continue to do these 24 hour fasts, these 48 hour fasts, your inflammation will go down. Look, just like this. Okay, this is just me, me sitting. This is me standing. It's just will be completely gone and your six pack will start showing without even flexing. So make sure you continue to do these fasts. They are instrumental in getting the body you want, getting the image you want, getting the strength you want. Look, man, I've been doing fasting for years. The benefits are crazy. You already know about the benefits and you can thank me later. All right, now on to challenge number eight. It is about hair health and beard health. But before I tell you that, let me tell you what just happened to one of the Aphrodite Academy members. So his name is Ven, and he started growing hair right here, you know, Wolverine style. You see how I grow hair here? He was never growing hair here. He's an Indian guy, and he just has a normal beard and kind of like shapes up here. And then he started growing hair here, and he loves it because his beard is now becoming more and more full. And he's like, this has never happened before, and it is because he started taking Afro D. Now, I designed Afro D not to improve some kind of hair health or grow a beard, but because of libido, confidence, energy, and drive. But now what I see is guys are getting other benefits. Now, this could be because of Hu Shu Wu. We know that there's animal studies. There's actually four animal studies that prove that Hu Shu Wu improves hair health, and we know Hu Shu Wu is the base product in Afro D. But that's not why I designed it. I'm also finding that guys are getting more focus. They're getting more productivity. A couple of the guys are taking it right before they go to sleep because it improves their sleep. So every single person is getting their own benefit of Afro D specifically on top of the general benefits of confidence, libido, drive, and energy. Sorry, man, I got a little distracted there. But back to our challenge for this hair health and beard health topic. Now, I mentioned already in the actual truth what I have been using. Now, I've brought them here live so I can show you. Hans de Foucault is what I use for shampoo. Okay, this is an all natural, you can read all the natural ingredients here. This is an all natural shampoo. I also use this cleanser for my beard when I take a shower. This is just to clean all the bacteria off. Right after I do that, I'm using this. I just got this yesterday from Whole Foods. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna put it close just so you can see it. Uh, if it's not visible, I'm gonna show you a picture as well so you can easily see it. It is a facial cream that I use. Um, it is more for skin health, not necessarily for hair health, but obviously it's gonna improve hair as well. Um, and then I also have a couple of uh, things I use for my hair. So this is also by Hans de Foucault. This is Clemation, and this is by Hans de Foucault Heavy Made. Cl Clemation is for those who don't have very thick hair. Because I have very thick hair, I have to use this to actually have it uh, stay and, and be strong. So this is what I'm using, Heavy Made. There is nothing better I have found until now. These products are wonderful and I highly recommend it. The other thing I recommend is aloe vera. When I was in Bali, I was using real pure aloe vera on my skin and that really improved the quality of my hair as well. So keep that in mind. If you have aloe vera natural in your city somewhere, go and buy it. Now, for your challenge, all I need you to do is tell me what one strategy out of everything I named in the truth, out of everything I just described here, 
tell me just one strategy that you're implementing in your life to improve your hair and beard health. Post that in the Facebook group and make sure you put hashtag challenge eight. Look man, I've shared all the tips that I have with you. Now it is time for you to share what one strategy you're using and if there's something that's improving your hair health or beard health that I haven't covered yet, please share that with your brother, share it with me. We would love to hear it. And remember, today's challenge eight. Three days from now, you will have day 11 and a very special announcement coming up. So look forward to that. All right, man. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Love you, bro. You are doing amazing in these challenges. And I will see you tomorrow. Time to finish this food, eh? Mm-hmm. Bye.